What is up? In this video, we're going to be visualizing and creating the stage at Siren Studios in LA, Highland Stage, that has a two-wall psych, and we're going to be using the brand new uh, psych generator and grid, grid generator that are part of Set Designer right now. So we're going to go to the floor plan of this stage here, and what we really care about is, of course, the two-wall psych that's shown here and then the grid. And we're not gonna do these beams here, we're just gonna make like a generic grid. And you would have to go to the stage and kind of look at it and make sure that it's roughly matching. And I'll show you how this process works. So uh, let's go into Cinema 4D. And this is my set designer for physical renderer. And we're gonna bring in the grid generator. And we're gonna bring in, I'm sorry, we're gonna bring in the psych wall generator and the grid generator like this. So we'll zoom out a bit. And let's take our grid generator for now, and uh, it's actually generated over there, so we'll put this here for now. So let's go ahead and enter the correct dimensions of the psych wall here. And so their psych wall is kind of like, it's, uh, it's not quite in this orientation, so we're going to spin it 90 like this, like that. And it's actually, yeah, it's like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this here which is the we're going to use the depth to do the long wall and this will be the short wall like that so let's go back to our floor plan so this is saying that roughly from here to the end is about 75 feet and it looks like this is six feet this distance here. so i'm going to just eyeball it um and you can do a, a more precise job i'm going to say it's about 70 feet this way and about it looks like it's about 50 feet. So I'm going to say 70 by 50 feet. So let's go to our depth here, and we're going to say 70 FT, like that. And then for the width, we're going to say 50 FT, like that. So that's roughly our psych wall size. I couldn't find the height, but I would guess it's something like 18 feet. But go get the actual dimension so that it actually works for you. Next, let's look at our new grid generator. So we'll go to the top here this top view and it's a really basic object it's a bunch of cylinders that are the shape and the size of uh, of schedule um, whatever the schedule pipe is I forget for making grids and basically we have our grid width and our grid depth here you can enter them in feet or centimeters or you can just drag and you'll see that it will create the grid for you and it's gonna create the grid spacing based on the spacing you put in here so I have it at right now eight feet and that's kind of the standard for grids in the US. And if you did four feet, um, there would be four feet in between each section. But I'm gonna go back to eight feet here, like that. So this is a really handy object if you're trying to get your grids to be a little bit more accurate. So I'm going to drag this here, and I'm gonna rotate it this way so that, so that the grid starts in the corner. And this is where LiDAR scanning or something like that would be helpful because it's hard to know exactly the orientation of the grid spacing, but go to the stage, do your best, and hopefully this generic grid generator will help you. And I'm just gonna guess here because I don't have photos of the actual stage that it's something like this, like that, right? And then you want to enter the height of the psych wall correctly, and then you wanna enter the height to the grid. So say the height to the grid, sometimes they'll say this on the sites, is 20 feet, something like that. And that would be pretty reasonable for a psych wall. And I think I saw a set photo if we go back to the site. It looked like if we went to this that they're using 2K space lights in there. Right, so their grid's a little bit different. If this photo was a little bit bigger, I could probably figure it out. But, you know, from here you would go into set designer and you would go and grab like your 2K space light, something like this. And now that we have the grid, we can actually start to place it and plan it like you would in the real world. So maybe it would be like one in the corner, something like this. And then you got to make sure that the height is, uh, is close, right? And this stuff doesn't have to be precise. It's just for visualization, but it will actually be pretty close to scale. So I'm going to go like this like that. Actually, with, with these little guys, you would probably want them spaced pretty close together. Something like this. And based on the photo, it looks like the grid of this stage may not be that tall. Um, but again, if you go get the real dimensions, maybe it was more like 16 feet, something like this. 
and then in which, in which case we would take the grid and the space lights and you just want to go get the actual heights of what's going on that looked a little this looks a little bit closer to like what that stage actually looked like but anyway that is hopefully a, a quick video quick edit of using the psych generator and the new grid generator to be able to model a real world stage like this one here siren studios highland stage hope you guys um find these tools useful they are again part of set designer which if you're not using Cine Designer, it's a separate subscription. It's about 125 a year and you get all the stuff that we put out and then updates for a year, basically. That's how that's working. And they're right here. So go check them out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below or anywhere on social. And I'll see you guys on the next video.